Elon Musk has put a chip in a human brain for the very first time, which is historic and terrifying, especially seeing what it did to all the animals they tested it on. But what is Neuralink? What exactly does it do? And why the hell are they doing it? All will be explained on Scroll Deep. That's this show with me, Benedict Townsend. By the way, I'm not talking about a freaking potato chip. Terrible. So Neuralink is one of the latest hair-brained, kind of literally, hair-brained schemes from Elon Musk. He's perfected exploding cars, he's perfected exploding rockets, and now he's ready to explode your brain. <laughs> I kid, I kid. For legal purposes, I kid. The brain chip, named Neuralink, is intended to help with all manner of neurological problems. Apparently it's gonna cure blindness and Alzheimer's and help you walk again. I mean, Elon has just been throwing everything out there. And it also aims to achieve, in Elon's words, quote, symbiosis with artificial intelligence. In other words, what if you had artificial intelligence in your brain and they were melded together? Doesn't that seem like a good idea? So how does it work? Now, I'm no brain surgeon. I'm just a simple rocket scientist. But I think it basically works like this. It's sort of meant to be both a computer that you can access with your brain and also, quote, a way to address brain injuries or spinal injuries and make up for whatever lost capacity someone has with a chip. So it's sort of both medicinal and a tool. And it's basically this kind of thing that doesn't go, it kind of goes in your brain, but it kind of sits on your brain. And there's like these threads that a robot, they have a surgery robot, a surgery robot threads into your brain. Kind of like hairs, it literally is hair-brained. Now you know what they say, you can't make an omelette without shattering the brains of a few primates, leaving them dying in agony. And that's very much the approach that Neuralink has taken with this product. In fact, the company has apparently killed 1,500 animals, including monkeys, pigs, apparently just any animal they can get their hands on, and it seems that a lot of them have very much suffered. In 2022, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine alleged that Neuralink had mistreated several monkeys and then in October 2023 Wired reported that Neuralink had uh, worked to keep the details of animal suffering hidden from the public and also the deaths of monkeys because they had to put down a lot of these monkeys euthanize them Elon Musk then tried to argue that all the monkeys were terminally ill or old anyway and then a lot of scientists came back and said like well a lot of these monkeys were pretty young it'd be weird that if they were all just about to die and then in November 2023 the SEC the Securities Exchange Commission which is basically the people who like are in charge of like investments and making sure that investors are not getting scammed. They decided to investigate whether Neuralink had deceived its investors by kind of holding back details about these animal deaths because they thought it would be bad for business. Basically, long story short, in a previous investigation they did into Tesla, they decided in that previous investigation that Elon's tweets count as official company statements. So if Elon tweets, the monkeys have been fine, that counts as an official statement. And then if it comes out that the monkeys have actually died in agony, as it seems they have, then the SEC argues that you've misled your investors. And above all in this, we have to think of the investors. We can't let them suffer. And now, in 2024, Elon has announced that they have done their first human Neuralink trial. And you may think, huh? How did they swing that? What with all the dead monkeys? Well, in 2020, Musk said that Neuralink had attained a thing called an FDA breakthrough device designation, which basically says the FDA, the people who are in charge in America, you're allowed to skip over the usual hurdles and just go straight to human testing if we think your device is like breakthrough enough. They're like, you know what? It seems cool enough. You can go break some humans' brains. Elon posted on X saying, quote, the first human received an implant from at Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detections. So big news for my neuron spike fans in the audience. Say it with me. Let's spike it. Yeah, neuron spike gang. Stay winning. He also tweeted, the first Neuralink product is called telepathy. It enables control of your phone or computer. Can you imagine that? Being able to control your phone? <laughs> imagine being able to do this. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking, that's dumb. But he goes on by saying, you can control them just by thinking. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Okay, there's a natural practical use. He then says, imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or an or an auctioneer. And I'm trying very hard, <laughs> trying very hard not to do an impression of Stephen Hawking as an auctioneer. <laughs> Would be very funny, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and I will say the reaction on X, even from his usual fanboys and his replies, is not warm. Most people are like, eh, I don't know about that. Because here's the thing, like maybe in the future, like Neuralink will be 
th the thing. You know, maybe it will genuinely help people who are unwell, but you gotta break so many people's brains to get to that point, and it's like quite uncomfortable to think about. Also, it's like, would a would a person who has no issues get it? Like, if you had a healthy brain, would you get this implanted? I wouldn't. What the hell, man? This thing already ruins my life, and I can put this down. I don't, but I could put it down in theory. If I could just like, you know, watch videos in my brain all the time, I'd get, well, I get very little done to begin with. I get even less done. Would you guys get Neuralinked? Reply in my brain. <laughs> if all my tubes were getting there. Only a gonk okay. wouldn't get Neuralink. <laughs> Would you gonks get some preem Neuralink? <laughs> I got chromed out of the Ripper dock and then I had to Delta because I needed to get some eddies. Also, oh, sorry, I'm getting a Neuralink message from Elon. Uh, it's, he's saying it's uh, it's it's a cat, and he's saying he can has a cheeseburger. That was great, thanks, Elon. Anyway, I have a sudden compulsion to buy Bitcoin, and I don't know where that's <laughs> come from. Along with like you know visual stuff, it does present a future where you cannot look away from stuff, especially with what Musk's talking about, with like basically making your head into a phone. You could literally, in one corner of your eye, you could have subway surfers. So you're like having a boring conversation and then you, yeah, you just got little stimulation videos going on here. That presents a fun future, yeah, where everyone's got a Neuralink in their brain and Apple Vision over their eyes. AirPods in and they're just like, ah! <laughs> just watching like the D'Amelio show <laughs> in nine dimensions, just like, ah! <laughs> That's why all those monkeys clawed their eyes out. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Are you someone who wants to be transhuman, as they call it? You know, where you want to use technology to augment the human body. Are you a primate who's looking to live a short, painful life? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> and as always, make sure to follow Scroll Deep for all the latest online nonsense. We keep up with stuff so you don't have to. And also give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. Is that really going to put you out? What, you got somewhere to be? You can't just... Come on, man, who do you think you are? <laughs> We're going to sign you off with our usual catchphrase, which I am beaming to you right now. <laughs> Ow! <laughs>